Hey guys, I want to say Hey guys, so I want to say thank you for the 100 subscribers. We're going somewhere unpleasant today. That would be the APMLE exam. I have a 30 minute ride, but first... Alrighty, so we are here. It literally says Prometric on the door. So it's for your future reference. Maybe like if you think you're going to get lost, blah, blah, blah. It says Prometric on the door. So you know that it's the right place. Um, currently there is a couple cars over there and feeling pretty good that I'm not the only one. When they announced like, uh, we have this two week span of testing, I wasn't sure which date to pick because the smarter date, the smarter date would be towards the end, which is the 14th, because then you have like more time to study and whatnot. But the better date for me is first because I want to get it out of the way. When I picked the first, I felt like I wasn't sure if I made the right decision because I think majority of the people pick towards the, towards the end. Knowing that there's other people taking it on the first day makes it reassuring a little bit. Wish me luck and I'll talk to you guys right after my exam. I'm actually really nervous right now. I've been nervous for a couple days. I think that contributed to why I've been having such a hard time sleeping. I was so lucky to even sleep at all last night. All right, so that concludes it. I just finished my exam. So here's my original reaction. When I was first taking it, um, I was really nervous. My heart was pounding. And maybe like the first 30 questions, I had like no idea what it was talking about. And I think as I worked towards the end, the exam started to get a little better, more understandable for, to me. Um, maybe because my nerves were actually calming down. So when I got gone through the exam the second time, felt I felt great. So here's what I bought. I bought this, like a bottle of water, like two eggs and stuff um, to the exam, thinking that I would have time in between the breaks to eat it. I had maybe like 20 minutes of break after uh, second time of reviewing the exam. So just to give you guys that like idea of how much time you'll have left. I had like 20 minutes after the second round. So, I mean, it's up to you if you want to take the break. But for me, once you're at that half point mark and you finished it one time, you just want to go back in and do it the second time. Just to look over a question that you marked during the exam. So, I mean, there's that. I'm going to go home. Alrighty, so now I am home and I'm going to put up a list of the materials I study from right now. A couple things to note about the testing center so they will give you lockers to put food in and right after that they bring you to a room so i was there around 7 30 this morning and as soon as i walked in signed in and put my stuff in the locker they called me back to the room uh where there's computers and stuff and had me sign and brought me to the testing at like 7 30. so um i've heard similar stories where people start testing around 7.30. So if you want to get it done ASAP, you can go at 7.30 and hopefully they bring you in. During the exam, so I mentioned earlier that I had, had like 20 minutes left. So that's what maybe a regular person might get left with after they finish two rounds of the exam. So, you know, like pace yourself. If you think that um, you really need the bathroom break, whatever, you can use it because a normal person, which is me, I, I still had 20 minutes left after I finished the second round of uh, looking over the testing material. So now regarding the testing material, um, there's a uh, oh my God, seven subjects. I think there's seven subjects. So there's so many resources out there. There's U World, Boards and Beyond, First, first Aid, um, so on, so forth, sketchy, da 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 da, uh, Anki, right? So there is so there are so many materials out there. I think one of the smarter ways to do it is maybe speak to the upperclassmen from your school, see what they used, and you know if it worked for them, then it works for you. Whatever resource you're gonna use from, I think it's gonna be just as good. The only difference is if you use like boards and beyond, it's going to help you summarize the material. It's, it's going to like help you 
uh, go over the material in video video form and it's gonna quiz you after the video to make sure that you're paying attention so there's some benefits to that rather than just reading from a book right there, there's a major difference you know all the material from any resource it's all gonna be the same and for that reason I did not stick with using my my own notes from my own LEA class and my anatomy class because I didn't take good notes and I use what the upperclassmen recommended me and you know there's there's no wrong to that because all the materials are the same anatomy is one of those subjects where um, the materials has not changed for so so long for as long as they they like named the, the freaking you know bodies and you know parts and pieces whatever yeah so yeah so whatever works for you make sure that before you are studying um, make sure you know what material uh, what resources you're getting your materials from and see how much you can try to get done in a day also another thing that I want to mention is that when you guys do read from these resources make sure that you are reading to comprehend and not reading to finish there is a major difference if you read to finish you will not at all understand or be able to regurgitate what material you just read and that's a big differentiator for someone who can pass and someone who fails the exam because if you just read and this question is asking you for a very specific answer then you're not going to be able to answer it simple as that so make sure you read to understand and be able to read and memorize as well another thing that's very important is that you guys should uh, do as many practice problems as possible um, I would say that board vitals is like definitely a usable source it's comparable to what you might find on the actual exam it's just that the way the questions are worded it's different you know the more questions you do the more knowledge you're gonna gain so that's what the major takeaway is yeah the, so the whole point of doing practice exams is so that you can get more exposure to questions and maybe learning things that you didn't know were weren't aware of at the you know first you know from just reading and stuff so practice exam is definitely a must um so board vital you can get like 944 total questions on board vitals and there's also like two practice exams on the pro metric web website which i can probably link below on the comment section of the description section and um i think most schools also have these like 2005 2008 exams and each one of those exam has three exams in them all together from those two exams that's another 360 questions and plus it has explanations I, I i'd say it's a very good deal free as well go ask your upperclassmen they they certainly will have will have these exams that is all i will see you guys next time peace anyway with all that said i better pass this exam we're gonna get the results july 29th so it's gonna be very very nerve-wracking Anyway, good luck to anyone who is taking it in the next two weeks and good luck to future test takers because you're going to do well because I gave you the best advice in the world. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But um, good luck to everyone. Bye.